hi this is Candace here and I'm coming to you today with a wing stop mukbang mukbang so I know it's been a long time since I've done a mukbang but I've been getting comments like I miss your mukbangs <laughs> So I was like, you know what? I, so it makes me like, oh, makes me like, oh, when I when I get those kind of comments, you know, because I'm just like, wow. But yeah, so bringing the mukbang back by popular demand. Well, this mukbang is back by popular demand. Um, yeah, I want some wing stop. This is a peach lemonade. I have the Korean barbecue wings. I have fries. And then I have ranch dressing. So, what happened was... I'm home alone, and there's food here. First first off, my husband, he took the kids to his family's house because he's Muslim, and today is the Muslim holiday. So they went to his family's house, and he took all the kiddies. Um, and he was like, oh, there's pizza in the fridge, da da But... I only eat thin crust pizza. I don't know. And am I the only one? I just don't like the all adult. Like, I could eat, like, if I go to New York or I could go get a regular slice pizza. But it just be too much dough for me with these other pizza places. Like, the, you know, the regular commercial pizza places. It be so much dough, not enough cheese. So I only get the thin crust. He didn't have he didn't have thin crust, so I didn't want it. But I was hungry. So I ordered some wing stop. But it seems like all the PA ordered wing stop. All the people in my area because it was a half an hour wait. It was a half an hour away, and I was about to be like, you know what? Cancel my order. I don't, you know, I don't want it anymore. And as I was walking out the wing stop, I was just saying to myself, I said, girl, go sit in your car. Like, you don't have no kids here. Where's the fire? Like, where's the rush? Like, why can't you wait? You know what I'm saying? So, I waited. Listened to some music. Got under AC. And... I went in to get my food and it was ready. After a half an hour. So, yeah. It's so funny because my husband bought a Mercedes Benz. So, <laughs> I called him, and I'm like, yeah. My daughter came on the line. She's like, hi, mommy. And I was like, hi, baby. I just went to, I just went on a joy ride in Papa's car. Then I hear my husband like, say, what? What? You went on a joy ride in my car? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I wouldn't have did that without him knowing. And I just really wouldn't even feel comfortable because it was like late at night. So yeah. Let me open up this. Man, it's in a new packaging. I think maybe. Oh, this. you know what I think? Because it used to be a black bottom. 
over a review like of my receipt and one day i was ordering they were charging a dollar for these so i think that maybe they went for a cheaper one because they don't charge anymore they went for a cheaper container and now they they don't charge i mean i didn't even notice but i'm like i'm not paying a dollar for this i'm just not doing it so my daughter turned nine yesterday and she turned nine and we went to New York and we went to the sugar factory and it was we had an awesome time and you know what so she asked me because she had a sleepover with my best friend's daughter because they're always on FaceTime, they're always on Roblox, they're always talking, but my friend lives in New York and I live in PA, but I said, you know what, I'll do that. So, I look so shiny, right? My napkin. So, I um went to New York I had such a blast. So Thursday night, we had to sleep over. Friday was her birthday. So we went and we got, they went and they got manicures. And um, then we went to the sugar factory. That's where they get those drinks that's really smoky and stuff like that. I will insert a clip here of my weekend and, well, my day in NYC. Okay, so my daughter wanted the heart braid. It's like a heart, and it's right here. And no one, when we got to New York, they knew how to do it. So it was, we went to four, we went to five places. The first four didn't know how to do it. Oh, she could get regular braids. We just don't know how to do the, the heart. We don't know how to do the heart. I'm like, okay. So... Before we went to the fifth place, I told one of my other friends who was with me, I said, listen, let's just be positive. Let's be positive because this next place is going to know how to do my daughter's hair. Because, you know, she's not. She's turning, she was turning nine and she really wanted this hairstyle. And it was crazy that nobody could do it. So I was like, you know, let's just be positive. Let's be positive. And this last place is going to know how to do it. And we went to the fifth place and they knew how to do it. What's your favorite wings? Do you like flats or do you like drumsticks? I don't know which one I like. I mean, I... I don't know. I like drumsticks. I'm not even gonna lie. I like drumsticks. I love messy eating. So, that's one of the reasons. I like a flat because you can't do all this with a drumstick. With the flat, you can take the bones out. So I like both. But my mom, she loves flats. Growing up, we would order Chinese food. We would order the wings. And my mom would get the flats and I would get the drumsticks.
I I love the ranch. What do y'all eat y'all the wings with? I love the ranch. See, this is the messy eating that I love. You see it? I love saucy. I love drip. You know one thing, another thing? You know, I keep saying, well, I kept saying that I'm not going to get Korean barbecue anymore. I'm going to switch. So I switched to the garlic parm. Mm. Then I switched to the hot lemon pepper, which is new. And it was like, uh. So I came back. I don't know why to eat this. Got it. My trip to New York was cool. Got to see my best friend. It was cool. Do people, do you eat the bone? Okay. I don't know how people do that. Mm -mm. I don't know how people do that. Get down with the bone. Hey, let me try the drumstick. And you know what? I like the drumstick. It zips perfectly in the in the container. The flat, it doesn't go all the way in. But look at this. The perfect zip. The perfect. I keep saying I'm going to switch the ranch to the divot. So, I can honestly say, that one thing I haven't switched is the color that I get on my nails. Am I the only girl that only gets white? This is a gel manicure, but it's not with the polish, ladies. This is with the powder. It changed my life. I'm gonna give you a close up. The gel powder has changed my life. I've been getting gel manicures for years now. It just lasts longer. It just makes more sense. So, Peach lemonade was tasty.
Okay. So these are the powder. So cute. I love them. I love them. So I've been getting gel manicure for years. The UV gel, you get, you sit under the thing. The lamp, the UV light, whatever. I've just been getting it for years. So I'm there. I've been going to this place for a few months here in Pennsylvania. And I love their customer service. I love their prices. So I'm sitting there and I pick out the color white. Even though going into the salon every time I say, don't get white, don't get white, don't get white. But I end up getting white anyway. So the lady says, you should do the powder. It's so much better than the gel. Do the, do the powder. And I said, in my mind, I said, oh, she's, because I've been in sales before. I said, she's just trying to upsell me. But I'll buy it. Okay, so I tell her, okay. And I've been hooked ever since. I do the powder ever since. There's no wait time. They dip you, dip you, dip you, then they polish. They dip you, then they polish. Then they dip you, then they polish. Then you pay, and then that's it. It's no sitting under anywhere. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. You have to hold your hand, like, in front of the fan to let it dry. But, yeah. And then, too, it lasts for, like, two to three weeks. I think it lasts three weeks. It lasts, like, three weeks, but when it's ready to be changed, you'll get a new growth. And sometimes it, like, like starts to crack. Like, hello? Not crack, like, crack your nails. The nail polishes just have, like, cracks in them. But, yeah. So, ladies, powder. Powder, powder, powder. For my daughter yesterday, I got her UV gel. She loved it. And that's what I got her. And then, um... That's what I always get my girls. I always get them gel because I'm not going to get them the powder. Um, I think it costs extra too. But I'm not going to get them the gel because getting nail polish, it is like a waste of money. It peels off. They have to sit and get it dry. They get, it's just too much. So to eliminate all of that, I just get powder. And I mean, I just get UV gel. To dip or to squeeze? I think I feel like a, I feel like squeezing. Because I'm already dipping. Yep, squeeze. Yeah, the squeezing work. I'm really enjoying this. No, could it be because there's no interruptions and nobody's saying, Mommy, Mommy? Maybe. Mommy, can I have some? And you know what kills me? My kids eat. We'll eat at the same time. They will finish theirs and be like, Mom, can I? Not really the big ones, but that little one, that Cora, not even my five-year-old. She hardly eats anything. My Cora, okay. I'm getting full. I ate one, two. Okay, so I'm going to eat one more flat. I'm going to eat one more drumstick. So I just ate the drumstick. I'm gonna eat the flat. Eat by Q. Eat with Q. She be 
and be love. They just be with these wings, with the flats. They be dipping it like that. Mean they be like getting the bones out and just eating the meat. I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, one down. Um, she takes it like this. Usually she has a little hot sauce. I ain't have no hot sauce. I'm not really a hot sauce person anyway. I'm gonna let y'all see. She dips it. And I'm going to eat it. Do y'all think I can do that again? I'm going to try to do it again. Okay, she takes the bone out. One bone out. Then she takes the chicken. I'm going to take the husband don't be looking this messy and crazy though. I'm going to dip. Okay. Again, I did it again. Okay. So that's it. That's all. I'm full. It's been nice chatting it up with y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed this mukbang. See you later. Bye.